Welcome back. I'm going to have another go at tacking on, tacking on this. Um, let's just see if we can zoom in a bit better. I'm sure we can. There we go. I'm lying on my back in the street. There we go. That's a bit better. We can see now. Um, I'm, having, I'm gonna. I managed to tack it on a couple of times, a couple of nights ago, and I did a tack here that was completely wrong. Um, so I've cut it off, and I'm just, I've just re, I'm just replacing the um, the patch. I'm going to go through get it try and get it patched no get it tacked and then I'll seam weld when I'm happy with the um, once I can get the the patch tacked on I can then sort of tap it around with a hammer in fact let me just um, let me just reach for a hammer I'm going to need a hammer um, there's one I need a smaller one there's one um, yeah you do have to sort of uh, do a lot of fine fettling this is the hammer I'll be needing so I uh, might as well get that to hand now. Uh, that's all right. Anyway, let's just get this uh, let's get this flame struck up. I pop the uh, pop the goggles on. It helps if I turn some gas. There we go. So I will need I need a bit of fine fettling. I don't want to flame that vicious. That's way too fierce. A nice soft flame. It's a gentle breeze, but I'll get away with that. Oh, come on, what's going on here? Oh, it's gone off. Too fierce. Calm that down a bit. That's better, about there. Nice, gentle flame. You can see it jiggling about. There is a little bit of wind. And set a nice, neutral, feathery flame. Let's just get this tacked on. And... Um, once I've got it tacked, I can sort of fine fettle the fit. Anyway, let's see. Okay, where do we need another one? Need one about here. I'm trying to do it without filler wire. Oh, the, ch the flame's changed. We just get a bit more gas. Let's go into quite an aggressive flame. Oh, it's gone off again. Oh, well, here we go. I'll get there in the end. Right, let's reset this flame. It's a very, very, very time-consuming process, oxyacetylene world. And a lot of people haven't got the patience for it. But, uh, personally, I like the finish it gives. I like the flexibility. I don't mind the extreme level of time. It doesn't concern me. All right, let's see if I can get a patch on, uh, not a patch, a tack. Just try and get both sides molten. Ooh. There we go, that's fine, that's one. <sighs> yep, need to just move the patch along a little bit. Oh. fiddling and faffing about okay let's try and get one here I'm going to need to hold that with a it's gonna burn me so I don't want to hold it with my I've got gloves on but it'll burn through the gloves good this may come on <laughs> such an awkward position lying on my back in the street it really is awkward right let's try and get one here Nope, I need filler wire on it. Oh, but of course you need three hands. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Okay. Let me try that again. I'll move my body out of harm's way. I don't want any drips potentially falling on me. Molten pool. Can I flow to suit? Yes. There we go. I've got a bit of a hole sprung up there, but not to worry. There we go. Just hold it whilst it cools slightly. There we go, that's okay. Now, I'll, uh, let's have a look. But I've got to be careful where I wave this torch about. Now 
because that's hot, burnt me. I'm going to turn the torch off because I'm, uh, I'm waving the bloody thing about. I can take the glasses off. There we go. Uh, I just need a, um, I need a weight. There we go. Pop the weight here. If I pop the weight here, I need, it will keep that flat. And if I bang on the curve, it should close. There's a half a millimetre gap, which you won't be able to see from the distance of the camera. But uh, if I close this first, holding the weight on the curve on the original panel stops any movement there there we go that's okay right i'll get the uh, get the torch lit back up and i'll be able to um be able to do this next next couple of tacks and i'll probably do that with filler wire Very slow process. I don't mind the slower, I just want it to be right. Yeah, gas welding is not for everybody because it is very slow. And uh, here we go. Right, gosh, this position is extremely awkward. Let's get a bit of filler wire in, move my arm out of the way in case there's any drips. I don't want it dripping on my skin. There we go. Right, you devil. Make sure it's got good penetration. There we go. Do another one here. All right. There we go. That's okay. Torch off again. But you get the idea. This is a lot of faffing about. And that's opened up over here considerably. That's okay. It's perfectly fine. Got a slight bulge here. But I'll be able to dress that down, no problem at all. I've got to wait for it to cool. You can't really be tapping it into shape when it's as hot as it is. And bizarrely, I need to take about a fraction of, fraction of a millimetre off the edge just over here it just it's not going to fit um yeah, yeah. not to worry I'll, i I'm, i could be here for hours you know and uh, this only gives the smallest sense filming these and uh, i can't film the whole thing because the, the films will be hours long but it just gives the slightest sense i'm actually going to need to file um i've got to file this edge here i can't get the cutters uh, you know it's about uh, a third of a millimetre perhaps it'll take about 10 minutes with the file and i'll be able to tap that in because it's, it's it's overlapping with the original so uh no problem I'll, I'll i'll let it cool i'll dress this a bit more and get a few more tacks on and then i've got to i've got to do the bottom as well it's it's an enormous an enormously long process i'm not going to even attempt to film the whole lot i'm just trying to give you a sense of what's involved here let's turn the camera off <laughs> 